traded for a horse one time. Now he wouldn't win no beauty prize. It's a great big long-eared blue roan gilding. Not too bad for waiter size. Now I needed to cover some tough old circles and this trader guaranteed that this horse had shown me lots of country and not need too much rest or feed. Now he said this here ain't no kid's horse but he'll pack you up the crick. He could bump up on occasion and he has been known to kick. And I wouldn't trade him to just anyone without having some remorse. But if you're a sure enough cowpuncher, mister, he's your kind of horse. <laughs> well, I stepped up on him the next morning. Oh, he began to buck and ball. Now that trader maybe hadn't lied none. But he hadn't told it all, because we sure tore up some country where he throwed that equine fit. And I almost ran out of handholds by the time he finally quit. And I guess that must have set the pattern, because nothing seemed to change. Although I showed him lots of country, every corner of the range, but every time I'd ride that booger, He'd have me a sitting tight. I knew I'd make at least three bronc rides before he packed me home that night. Which would have been okay with lots of horses that I knowed. But that old booger had my number. I just barely got him rode. And the thing that really spooked me and put a damper on my pride was he was learning how to buck faster than I was learning how to ride. <laughs> I pulled into camp one evening. It was getting pretty late. And I see a gray horse in a corral and a saddle by the gate. Well, I looked that gray horse over and I sure liked what I seen. And then this kid came out from around the barn. He must have been about 16. And he said, I lamed that gray horse this morning, coming down off the granite grade. And uh, I was wondering if you might maybe have a horse you'd like to trade. He said, I don't have time to stop and rest and let him heal. And since beggars can't be choosers, I make most any kind of deal. Well, now when you're trading horses, why, almost anything is fair. And I traded him that blue roan for his gray right then and there. <laughs> and then, well, my conscience got to hurting when I thought about what I did. A trade a fly blown dink like that off to some little wet nosed kid. <laughs> so, next morning, after breakfast, why, I tells him, listen, lad, you know that trade you made last night was bad. That old blue horse, he's a bad one, son. He's as tough as any that you'll see. Well, he'll kick you, he'll strike you, he'll stampede. He's a sorry SOB. Now, it's just all I can do to ride him, and I tell it to you straight. I think you'd be dang lucky just to ride him past the gate. Now there's two or three old horses out there in the saddle bunch. They ain't got too much going for them, but I kind of got a hunch that they'd get you where you're going if and you don't crowd them none. But damn, I'd hate to see you ride that blue roan booger, son. And he replied, well, like I told you there last night, I'd make most any kind of trade. And I appreciate that you're telling me what a bad mistake I've made. But my old daddy told me that when you're trading, no matter how you feel, even if you take a whooping, a deal is still a deal. Now you say this horse has lots of travel and he's not too bad for speed. Well, sir, 
I'm tiny in a tight, and that's exactly what I need. Now, I traded for him fair and square, and damn his blue roan hide. When I pull out of here this morning, that's the horse I'm going to ride. Well, I watched him cinching up his saddle. He pulls his hat way down, and he steps up into the rigging like he's headed straight for town. He puts both spurs up on the shoulders, gets that blue roan hair a-flying, tips his head straight back and he screams like a hungry mountain lion. Well folks, I've heard of the Buck and Horse Ballet and I've heard of Poetry in Motion, but the ride I saw that day just plumb defies description, although I can see it plain like it happened in slow motion and is branded in my brain. Now, I don't suppose I could tell it to you, even if I tried, that all I can say is, by the saints that kid could ride. Well, he sat up there just plumb relaxed, like he's a laying home in bed. And every jump that pony made that kid's a half a jump ahead. Now, when it was all over, I decided, well, golly, I can learn a few things still. So I hollered out, Son, I'm awful sorry. I misjudged your riding skill. And he called back, Aw, shucks, mister. As he went along his way, That's all right. But if you think this horse can buck, don't put your saddle on that gray. <laughs>